What's up Weekenders, I'm Corbin, welcome to my channel. And today I just got done packing up for another adventure and uh, we're heading out to Overland Expo West out in Flagstaff, Arizona. Uh, super excited, this is a, a event that I've been wanting to do for a long time. Looks like a ton of fun, there should be a bunch of cool Overland builds that I'm super excited for. Uh, but that doesn't start until Friday and today is Wednesday. So tonight I'm going to do a bucket list trail that I've been wanting to do for a long time out in Sedona, Arizona. So that's where we're gonna head tonight and then tomorrow I'm doing a Tread Lightly trail cleanup event uh, just to kick off Overland Expo. But I have a four hour drive from Las Vegas, Nevada out to Sedona, Arizona right now. So let's hit the road. Sedona where I met up with one of my new buddies Jason who has a crazy awesome uh, two-door wild track Bronco uh, we're gonna do Schnambly Hill Trail uh, which actually is a Jeep badge of honor trail out here in Sedona Arizona uh, it's only a two reddit trail so it's gonna be pretty easy uh, and we're gonna have these epic uh, cliffside camp spot views uh, but unfortunately that trail is closed. So as of mid-May 2023, that trail is closed. I don't know if it's because of Overland Expo uh, or whatnot. But uh, so our new plan is, is we're gonna go just north of Sedona uh, and hopefully find a forest road that we can do some dispersed camping off of. So wish us luck and we're gonna be hunting for a new camp spot tonight. Now it's no ridge camping spot, but I think we found a pretty good spot out here on Forest Road 535. Uh, so if you're ever in the area, come check out this road. There's actually a ton of good dispersed camping spots out here. I think we're gonna set up camp right here. It should be pretty good. It's flat, not muddy, because it did just rain. And uh, I'm pretty happy with this spot. out here on my adventure and the technical little difficulties didn't really stop for me uh i got this camp right tent cot from a buddy and uh it turns out it's not waterproof unless you have the optional rain fly uh so i got a little wet last night no big deal though i ended up just kind of moving over to my bronco and sleeping in that last night and uh it was a little cozy uh, i didn't really plan for this so my space was a little limited no big deal and uh we're gonna pack up and move on to our next adventure which is um trail cleanup with uh tread lightly so it should be a fun day ready to hit it let's do this Cedar Hill OHV Park uh, for the Tread Lightly cleanup. And uh, what a great turnout. There's probably like 
60 to 80 people out here and they have multiple missions going on today. Uh, signage, trash, tumbleweeds, fence, stuff like that. And uh, I signed up to do the fence cleanup. So we're gonna go uh, basically out to a fence line and get all the tumbleweeds and anything that could cause a fire along that fence line off of it. And uh, I'm excited, let's go do this. All right, so like I said, our goal here is to get tumbleweeds like this off of this fence and across the road. And uh, theoretically, they'll blow that way because that's the direction of the wind. And then uh, there'll be less fuel along this uh, fence line for it to catch fire or firefighters have any problems in the future if there was a fire. It's such a great feeling knowing that you can go out and help uh, support and protect uh, our beautiful countryside, trails, and off-road parks. And uh, that's all thanks to Tread Lightly. So I highly suggest you go check out their website and Instagram and see what, uh, what events they have going on near you. They do hundreds of events every year, so chances are they have something near you. Uh, and I highly encourage you to go out and uh, volunteer your time with them. It's a great time. You won't regret it, I promise. Uh, but at this point, we're going to go to Overland Expo, get checked in, and hopefully find a campsite for tonight because the expo kicks off in the morning. So let's do this. made out here to the expo and uh we're camping along this fence line because there's an absolute insane amount of people here it kind of blows my mind how many people are here if you've never been to this event i highly suggest you come out and check it out it is a uh, it's crazy it's kind of like a free-for-all as far as the camping goes uh we may change spots tomorrow but i think this will do for tonight we're gonna set up and then go get our credentials this has got a list of all the classes all the vendors where okay. they are all right, got my credentials and everything I need for Overland Expo. Jordan from Carpool Lane was actually kind enough to give me a ride up here. Uh, I'll be camping with him this weekend, so be sure to go check out his page, and uh, I'm sure you'll see a little bit of myself and his. And uh, yeah, I'm excited. We're going to go set up camp and get ready for tomorrow. three of my adventure it's friday the first day of the expo and uh luckily it did not rain last night so i was able to use my tent cot successfully unlike last night but uh we're gonna go meet up with a few more friends and uh see what this expo has to offer boy. Boy. oh nice good dog hey come here come here <laughs> This might be the most insane vehicle here at Overland Expo. It has a party deck on the top of the vehicle. All right, well, we got some rain, obviously, and uh, hopefully they don't cancel this event. I'm actually kind of worried, and uh, we're about to find out. We're gonna go try to find some cover at this point because the dog's looking a little wet. All right, 
right guys, we've been trying to hold out this rain for a couple hours now, hoping it would go away. I don't think it's gonna go away, so I think we're gonna call it a day for the expo. Uh, a lot of people are starting to head out, and uh, I'm gonna head back to my Bronco, and I have a, a good feeling that my tent is probably soaking wet, so we're gonna go check that out, and I'm probably gonna have to figure out a new solution uh, for a sleeping arrangement tonight, but uh, I guess we'll see, and uh, then we'll be hitting this again tomorrow. All right, so my predictions were correct. Uh, my tent cot got absolutely soaked. And uh, what I mean is it's an actual pool inside of this tent cot. That's because this morning when it was sunny out, uh, I left it open to air dry because it was a little damp. Uh, well, it ended up raining pretty heavy throughout the day. So this tent cot is completely ruined for this trip. Uh, luckily, I have some great friends that offered up an Airbnb, so I'll probably end up staying there tonight. Uh, but tomorrow is day four of my adventure and day two of the expo. Uh, so we'll see you guys in the morning. All right, good morning, guys. It is day two of Overland Expo, which is Saturday. And uh, a few of us last night went out to an after party with Baja Designs, Rome, and a few other companies. And uh, that's the cool part about this event is that you get to meet all these companies face to face, not only at the event, but out camping, just networking, uh, out on the town after the event. It's a cool way to just uh, see the brands that you're actually buying and uh, get to know them personally. Uh, but uh, after that, went back to an Airbnb. Shout out to the guys that offered that to me. Uh, huge thanks to them. Really saved the day with my uh, tent issues. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so we're going to head back into the vent. Hopefully get to see a few more products in depth. And then uh, maybe test drive a motorcycle. Maybe do a ride along. And uh, we'll see. I'm excited. Guys, I don't know, these uh, Tenere 700s from Yamaha are pretty cool. I could see myself putting one of these in an uh, overland trailer behind my Bronco and rolling out to cool camp spots and uh, taking the bike out and uh, just having a blast. Leave a comment below, do you think I should uh, add a motorcycle to my collection? We'll see, it's something that I've been looking at pretty heavily lately. I don't know guys, Super 73, kind of blown away. These things are pretty cool. There's a lot of electric bike uh, companies out here at Overland Expo. I don't know, I just test drove the Super 73 and uh, they're pretty cool. Go, 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 Hunter. All the way in, all the way in. Go, 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 go. go. Yes, go. Yeah. Come on, Hunter, go, go, go. Yeah. Yeah. Good job. Yeah. 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 Dude, I could live in one of these. Toyota has a pretty good showing out here at Overland Expo and they brought their new Toyota Tacoma and uh, they just happened to bring the Trail Hunter edition which I believe is going to be the top of the line Toyota Tacoma and man I gotta say I'm pretty impressed especially with the suspension check it out they have like billet upper control arms I mean this thing is nuts comes with a roof rack rigid lights I believe it's three or four inches wider a little bed rack going on. Man, what do you guys think of this new Tacoma? I think it's pretty rad. And uh, I can't wait to see them out on the road and what everyone starts doing with these things. So, um, uh, I know it's 
getting close the idea of me taking uh, <laughs> uh, clients uh, on down that thing so so we, we with this we can get yeah we can get into uh, yeah it goes down easy um and all right that's a wrap for today and i will see you guys tomorrow for the last day of overland expo and all right guys it is the last day of my adventure for overland expo west uh instead of walking around the expo for a third day in a row uh, we decided to just come out and kind of explore the flagstaff sedona area pre-run some trails for maybe some uh future group trail rides out in this direction uh, but overland expo was a great time there's a ton of cool people to meet uh there's classes to be had to learn some cool stuff uh, there's also deals to be had. So if you've never been to an Overland Expo, I highly encourage you to go uh, check one out. They do multiple across the country uh, every year. So I'm sure there's one that's not super far from you. Uh, speaking of events, my next event will be in Big Bear, California for Bronco Bash. Uh, that starts June 8th this year. So uh, if you're out west and want to go to a cool Bronco event, I highly suggest you go check that one out. I'll be there and uh, come say hi. Uh, but I'm going to end the video off here. I'm sure the video is kind of all over the place, uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed just seeing the expo in general and uh, definitely go check out my Instagram. Uh, there's a lot of extra content on there behind the scenes that doesn't make it on the YouTube. Uh, so definitely go check that out. Uh, leave a like if you thought this video was cool. Uh, leave a comment if you uh, think uh, Overland Expo is a cool event and uh, subscribe if you want to see more cool events like this in the future. And uh, we'll catch you guys at the next waypoint.